So this is Feudal, the game of Siege and Conquest, part of the 3M Bookshelf series, as you can see the deck. Game of Siege and Conquest, 3M, which uh, is a little company in Minnesota. There's a basic idea of what the game will look like. There. And now basically, before we start the game, I just want to move the camera around so that way the audience knows how we set up all our pieces, but not each other. Okay, so you've already got yours, and uh, yours is showing, right? Yep. The camera. Okay, here's the camera over here. My basic setup. Yep. And so the question is, who wants to go first? Not me. Not me. Is there, is there a way to determine that in the rules? Uh, I'll have to look that up online. Unfortunately, the piece of cardboard that also acts as the dividers also has the rules. You, however, have a reference sheet that displays how each of the pieces move, so there's that. <laughs> Essentially, who goes first is decided on a coin toss. For the sake of authenticity, I'm using a quarter from three years before this game would have, I mean, 50 cent piece. I was gonna say, that is not before a quarter. Before this game came out. Main reason I like the 50 cent piece is this is just the stock sound effect of money. You two, who heads or tails? Heads. Heads, I guess. Alright. Dan called heads first. Tails. So you're up first so far, and now it's between us two. I'll have you flip. I'll go for heads, tails. Okay. For hour. Okay, okay, so now it's time between you two then. Okay. Heads. Heads? Alright. Tails. Alright. Yeah, right. right. So we'll out. start with me and go clockwise. Yep. Alright. So the divider goes up. We'll just give you a piece of one away. So oh, I'm the bottom left army, the dark thing. green. John is the lighter army at the top right. Dan is. No, sorry, he's top left. Dan is top right, Aaron is bottom right. You gotta move at least one piece, but you can move up to all of them if you want it. Really? Yeah. Also, I believe you can only capture one piece per turn. Yeah. So don't you think you can just piece. swarm the enemy and kill them in one turn. Alright, uh, in the is... first place, my pikeman is gonna charge forward and take John's sergeant. <laughs> no, that is dead. <laughs> Thank you. This, one time when, when we were playing, uh, what was it? Uh, Stratego. Stratego. A 9-11 movie had come out that had, uh, the song, uh, uh, oh, you know, Lights Will Guide You Home by Coldplay, and, and so I said that when I killed one of his guys. Hmm. It's just become a force of habit now. Yeah. Kind of like whenever somebody plays that orchid from Killer Instinct. Speaking of uh, arcade combat, the new Soul Calibur, uh, Ivy, her, her dimensions are just, uh, Unrealistic. uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it that way. I'll bet. <laughs> like... Um, actually, this. I think I'm going to keep most of my pieces as is for now. So, we're going to call it there. John, it is your turn. Well, I see a pretty easy move right now. I'm going to take out your prince with my lowly <gasps> little pike band. Ha uh ha. -huh. Goes into the mass grave. Damn, that others. was a prince, wasn't it? Yep. My bad. So, to win, do you have to take everybody else's castle or just one? Uh, since it's free for all, it's everybody else's, well... You either win by taking everybody else's castle or, or killing all, all the royalty. Yep. Yeah. So, it's, so it's last man standing, essentially. Mm -hmm. One cap. If one castle is captured, what happens to that army's pieces? I think they just die. Yeah, pretty much. Because right. it, it, the rules are pretty vague about that. Just in case, I'll protect him. And. Uh, hmm. Could open up a Roth IRA there. account and contribute up to $5,500 per year tax-free. Well, right. that's not going to work out very well if my castle gets taken over now, will it? No! Yeah. Sorry, John. Everybody's killing my sergeants. <laughs> I believe you're fresh out of sergeants now, John. Yeah, there's only two. Strategically oh, move this oh, guy here. Minutes. And I'll strategically move this guy here. Well, I want to get out of his line of fire. So, this is the thing that makes it challenging here. with more people is usually when you're like playing chess, you only have to anticipate the other opponent's moves. Now you have to yeah, anticipate this is like, everybody's This is going to be impossible to really strategically uh, I'm not great at chess either, so do that's, anything. that's not good for mm -hmm. me. Neither am I, so you can join me for the pity party. If you <laughs> and, yeah, I'm going to end it there. Remind me, John, can you move over your own pieces? Uh... I believe only the squire can do that, but other than that, no. 
Hmm. However, it is important to note that the archer can shoot over pieces. One, One, shoot over two, friendly three, pieces, yes. Four, five, six, yes, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> you stole the archer. <laughs> Hey man, that was my only archer. I'll just move this one over here. Move you here. Back to me. Mm -hmm. Now look at the horse. Now back to me. Sergeant's gonna move up <laughs> to this position. Just... Pikeman's gonna move slightly <laughs> so over. Pay... Leave your horseman can go any number of spaces, Alex. Yeah. It is that once you move them somewhere, if you the thing you're attacking is next to someone else who can get you, then your best guy is dead. Exactly. Yep. Should help me defend nope. my quad. <laughs> Scotch tape. Cheating's been brought to a new level. I'm gonna move my knight up here. Oh. Where you summon Scotch tape? Where you think you're going? I summon the. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna call it there, John. It is your turn. Oh, but I move him up to one. That seems like That's a good start. Piece. No, it's not. <laughs> Disagree. It's the dog. Oh, you killed my archer in cold blood. Yes! Wait, that was the archer. I didn't even pay attention to what I killed. Okay, so I'll move him over here. That's how I cold the blood was. Then oh. up there. I think that'll be all for now. Kill him. <laughs> with my, uh. You can't move oh, that far with the sergeant. Never mind. Come back. <laughs> this guy go down. Oh, yes, he can. Yeah, so I can kill him with this sergeant. Never mind, Aaron. I was wrong. Pikeman here, so that you can't really do much damage to me from that side. Ten. There we go. Traded a pikeman for a pikeman. really like killing him, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. It's Mass funny. Grave. And there. And I'll end my turn. Hmm, interesting. Confused as to why the archer can only shoot up no to three comment. spaces away. <laughs> well, it's not like those things were very accurate. Back I would do that times. with my archer. If I had one! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lost the archer. But the <laughs> archer's back. <laughs> yep, but the archer's back. <laughs> no! Um, can you move, like, even though there's, like, a... Can you move diagonally, like, at the corner? I would assume you can if there's, like, a corner yes. of a thing there. Like, say, for example, if this guy could move diagonally, that's considered a valley. So you oh. can go between the mountains. Cool. I'm surprised it hasn't come up earlier, actually. Oh, well. Sorry, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to take out Spring Boob Squire Pit. <laughs> <laughs> Too clever! Go for the cover of this mountain. Move the pikemen up to here. And I will end my turn there. Kill this frickin' guy right here. <laughs> I don't seem to be doing that. Revenge! <laughs> oh, sorry, that was one of them. It's still early in the game. Okay. Do that. <laughs> no, I'm good. PC you could actually one, make it good. Maybe. Two. Turn into chocolate. Okay. I'm sorry, what? One, two... You and your Dragon Ball Z booty guy Tenkaichi 2 one, reference. Two. Which is gonna be the longest title for a game I can think of. There. And I end my turn there. Can I move my pikemen diagonally into my castle space from here? Yeah. With both the mountain and the castle in the way. That'd be a valley. What's the strategic value of moving someone into your castle? It prevents well, someone else from taking it from you. Yeah, so, okay. so basically they have to kill the one person in order to get into that castle. One person okay. to rule them all. <laughs> Don't make me bring out the Lord uh. of the Rings books. Oh, I will. I will make you bring out the Lord of the Rings books. <laughs> uh, so it's even funnier. Yeah, I'm gonna call my knight back. <laughs> We are all playing so sort of. this game. At this point, yes. Well, eventually we will end up killing each other. It's just, when will that moment come? It's the Battle of Hastings, but instead there's four people. You see, I don't really know how the Battle of Hastings happened, so that doesn't mean much to me, I'm afraid. The only thing I know about it is it happened in 1066. That's just about it. And British. I think it was British. If you say so, John. 
Or maybe there's French. I have no evidence to dispute that. I'll leave my archer there. Ooh. I'm gonna move him out slightly. My sergeant, and that'll be the end of my turn. When you specifically asked if you could get into the castle or not, I'm going to avoid that move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to move this move guy over here. There. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, right. It's my turn. You just move, dude. And turns are made to be... I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just going to shut up at this point. That might be wise. <laughs> I know asking for help, Dan. From playing. who? The chocolate army? I'm just playing with the chocolate horsey. <laughs> Checkmate. But I still have my horsey. Ring boob squire. I pants. think it's something like that. Yeah. Alright, and I think that will be the end of my turn. Turns out my plagueman can move one cool. space this diagonally. So. As in moving your yeah. knife back, John. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Well, you see, if yeah. I would have killed him, then that pikeman would have taken it out. Yeah, but you could have used your squire instead <laughs> on the next turn if you backed up your knight. Also, if you're king in check. <laughs> well, <laughs> check, so matter. Matter. check isn't a thing, but yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, now, when you get, you get to a castle, can you, like, immediately move into it, or do you have to be, do you have to go to the outside and then take another move? You have to land on what, I believe that space is called the drawbridge, and then move in the castle on the next move. It's called the green. But okay, so you have to move here. Yeah. So, say he takes his guy and moves into the drawbridge, and say mm -hmm. I had a knight, like, over here, then I could swap, swoop in and kill him when he's on the drawbridge. Yes. I'm just going to move a guy over here. Here, then I'm going to move him here, and then what is this? A pauper, squire, squire, yeah, person? Squire. Yeah. pauper. <laughs> well, no, he's certainly not a prince. So I'll do that. Move this one over there. Move you over onto here. Got in the castle. Yes. That pikeman's been promoted to guardsman. Archer's gonna move over. Am I on? There we go. My archer's gonna move over slightly. Siege to my fortress. Possibly. Reference I don't know, maybe I'm just considering your territory to be Belgium. Which would make Dan's territory France. As long as I'm not Poland, that's all I have to say about it. In that case, I surrender immediately. I'm going to take out this pikeman, so I'm not in check anymore. Good work. That's what I would have done. Now move up one, just in case. Why not? <gasps> You're going to take the knight. That was actually the prince, I believe. No, I'm sorry, it's yeah. a knight. The prince cool, has cool. Uh, the javelin. Or yes. the jousting then... stick, whatever it's called. What yeah. else we got here? Yeah, I think it would be a lance. Lance, that's what it's called. I couldn't think of a name. My groove. And then there. I'm sorry, but you throw off the upper's groove. Sorry. Then. I shall move you. Here. Get out of my territory! <laughs> Dude, kind of and I end my sorry. turn! Pops runs out screaming outside the house and just sees a whole zombie apocalypse of milkmen. And then they're all just like, gotta have my pops. There was the one pops commercial where the dude's like going through signs of addiction to pops, like uh, saying that he wouldn't even play the sports, uh, the football game he was going to do unless he got his pops thing. And then he just randomly gets it. It's like, okay, that's good. But it's like showing full signs of addiction throughout the oh, whole sorry, commercial. John. What's up, right? Eh? Either way, this guy was dead, either from he was the pretty, castle and there, He was pretty darn dead. This would be the best strategy. Or maybe stratagem would be the right word for it. What? I think stratagem is plural strategy. This uh... pikeman annoys me. <coughs> yeah, I figured that was gonna be the next move. This seems somewhat strategically advantageous. Yes, yes I was, and I corrected one. myself when I re Kill. Die. Mark my words, you will pay for this insolence. Bold move, Gun. I'll show you an even bolder move. The boulder! 
Crap. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. All right, Doob's gonna fall back to this position. However, he can't attack if he does move, though. It's not a, I'm not it's sure attack. if that's really... I've really looked close enough, I guess. To kill him. <laughs> I figured. Gonna move up to there. Move up my pikeman, which was here to there. Yes. And this. <laughs> and then this. I think it's because the squire is supposed to accompany the king in like storytelling terms. Don't know much about medieval stuff. Alright. However, I can finally say I finished reading the Canterbury Tales, and to be How honest, did you finish the Canterbury Tales? The book, the, the tales were never finished. <laughs> I finished all that was written. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Which, to be honest, the thing just dragged on and on. <laughs> Rough terrain. Ah, oh, right, okay, never mind. <laughs> Tensions are rising. Yeah, they are. <laughs> If you think about it, they've been at a peak for this whole game because we're okay. both trying to- No, sure they're still other. rising. <laughs> yeah. Urge to kill things rising. Were <laughs> things were definitely most not at a peak to begin with. Stop singing the Four Peters. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like that was way to kill power. Wait, where, where did you come from there? Uh, right you were, there. You were here. Do, yes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's a legal okay. kill. Your well, in the first place, Pikeman's gonna take your knight. <coughs> so your prince, prince, actually. Now take a look at this. Dang it, he's not in the line of sight. No! <laughs> I was going to... That was actually, I'm yes, he is. Yeah. Oh. yeah. One, the archer. two. You can capture... You can get this guy, yeah. but you can't get this guy. I know, I want the sergeant. Yeah, you can you capture that. You can get that. the yeah, sergeant. Yeah, he is. Two uh, hits. Yeah, two hits yeah. away. What were you thinking? It I seemed like wasn't. he wasn't diagonally enough, oh. if that makes sense. No, I think I get it, but you were thinking at the wrong angle yeah. at a certain point. Yes. So 90 degree at 45, and he was 45. No, you only have the 45, so you just got IMCA on there. Huh? Record, the 45. Uh -huh. Oh. It was just two-sided with one song on each side, and one of them was YMCA, and I have no idea what their song was. Okay, if you say so. I'm surprised you brought up the idea of 45 records. But Down oh. here. I could go here. Well, um, <gasps> Don't blame the controller. <laughs> what controller? Exactly. Your own feeble mind. That controller was but a controller to my controller. I don't know, my hand's stuck on Could the you maybe button. make a little less sense? I could, but, you know, standards won't let me. One, two, three, and I'll leave it there. Yeah, I'm just gonna move there. Pikeman's gonna move up too. Ooh. Okay, so... That I decided to stop playing your game of chicken. <laughs> Who said anything about playing? <laughs> and now the duke will I'll... take out <clears throat> this lowly sergeant. I honestly forgot I even left that. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> sad. He's just squatting an air in the territory for like months at a time waiting for orders. <laughs> no, he's just waiting for backup, but it never shows up. <laughs> Aaron gets the report in. My king, our sergeant has been discovered. Who? <laughs> Oh. We had a guy there this whole time? <laughs> Wait, yes. we had a guy behind enemy lines? Oh, do you want the reference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just been kind of hovering over my area, much like Aaron's sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> just been kind of there, <laughs> waiting for someone to tell him to get out. Dang, that changes things. <laughs> <laughs> I was you, aware of that. you see, it didn't matter which way you moved for that one, unless you moved backwards. That would have actually saved you. I feel like all the action is going on on Dan's territory right now. Hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. He's now... the only one that's not a shade of blue, that's why. Somehow I was hoping you'd forget to do that. Oh, no. No, but you've been very protected of that. that squire, despite the fact that we're not really accomplishing much <laughs> around each other. True. 
I moved in thinking it'd be an easy mm. kill, and you saw right through it, and we've been dancing around ever since. So I've caught it in an airstrike. F couple times. Just a dragon swoops down. Oh. <laughs> now that would be interesting if, say, they made this game more complicated so you could have an aerial strike. I mean, they did have simple artillery and... back then. It would just be very hard to manage that. So, we'll begin with a spin directly into John's castle. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. So, John, I you believe... You can't do that. First, you gotta go here. I mean, either way, I'm powerless to stop it, but still. Hmm. That's usually how these kind of games go. I'm so focused on the idea that I'm about to win that I don't see I'm being killed. <laughs> Information. Yeah. Kill. Joy. I'm gonna die anyway, so let's just have some fun. I only died because I thought you'd have fun with it! I at oh. least want to say I made it to this castle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grant you that. Guys, I'm about to catch it! We lost. Oh. <laughs> I really want to take him out, but I can't. Oh well, I'll just move this guy in. For the, some case I'm able to somehow do it. <laughs> I win! You have to <laughs> And you're definitely going to kill him before his next turn, right? I mean... I don't see any reason why he wouldn't. Unless he just hates you that much. <laughs> anyway. That'd be an interesting alliance system. We technically could call a truce, but... Uh, I don't think there's rules for that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you kill his king, that's the end of the Duke of Dad. Don't make me bring up the Pink Panther movie. Don't. Dang it, I didn't actually get my Lord of the Rings books out. Wait, do it anyway. Mm. Lay siege to his fortress, you know, grind his bones, make your bread. And see, when, when you don't mention the word Shrek, people don't know you're making a Shrek reference. How many royalty Ten, pieces does Dan have on? Seven. One. Oh, he just says the king. The okay. king. <laughs> and... See. I'm being hmm. very cinematographic. Cinematographic? Cinephilic. I don't... Cinegraphic. I'm not sure what shit any of those were words, right, but... I'm get, fit and done. We, we got, got the stuff. Funnily enough, I was gonna capture John's pikeman here, so I could allow him to take Dan, but I think John's got... Oh, I think Aaron's got this. So, yeah. <laughs> no. John's castle is fallen. Now, that to, does that count as capturing a piece? Or am I still allowed to do that this turn if I... I'm gonna say that's you killing me, but not capturing a piece. Okay. Not that I can, as far as I can tell. Well, either way. It was a fun go-round. <laughs> John, John is supposed to fall, despite being probably the most aggressive this game so oh, far. Oh, so only your pieces uh, that are on your section of the board. No, oh, no, okay, all no. of them do. Oh, Except okay. for that. Wait, does he really survive? No. <laughs> no, I'm just festering the wound. No. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. But not anymore. It's okay. Spoiler alert. He's dead. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, you spoiled the next five seasons of The Walking Dead. No. <laughs> so the king can move one or two spaces horizontally. Someone's gonna die. Vertically or diagonally. Does that mean he can do like one and then the other? Or no. it has to be a He can't be a square. square. He, has to, he has to commit to a direction he moves in. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and a two. Oh! Oh, just wow. spite. <laughs> That's the reason I tried to take over. Um, the does my pikeman have to stay on this castle, or is it mine? I think it's your castle now, so All you right. can do with it what you will. Not that I can do much with him at this point. Wait, I'm still in. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay. Good. You still got royalty left. Uh. Oh yeah, you lost your king, right? Dang, I forgot you could go. <laughs> there goes animals. your last king. Dan's Dude, out Dan now, right? Fallen. You don't even need to capture his. The squire and the knight to die. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving it mm. to just you and me. Since this is my castle, can I move out of it freely? Or do I have to move on the drawbridge? Uh, I think you can move out of it freely. I mean, it's your castle. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, are these meant to be? It's captured. Yeah. That's a clever move, down. 
Why would you not? Okay, never mind. You know what the weird mm -hmm. top song almost looks like? The castles have been converted to factories. Hmm. Well, we've e we each captured an adjacent territory, so we're <laughs> both we're profiting from the war effort. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. But one will stand, mm -hmm. one will fall. One ring to fall. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm getting the Lord of the Rings. To <laughs> one ring to fall them all? Oh, you actually have that. John, maybe put a warning before this video goes up. <laughs> warning. Commentary is just bad, dude. I think they'll know that going in. Are you going to read the whole series? <laughs> by the, by the time by the time you get through this game, you might have the time. <laughs> okay, let's alternate paragraphs. So pass the book off. Let's me. alternate words. Alright. And I end right. my turn. I'll, I'll just start with the prologue. Three rings for the Elven King under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lord in the Hall of Stone, nine for mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne, and the land of Mordor where the shadow lie. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them all, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them in the land of Mordor where shadow lie. This tale grew in the telling until it became a history of the Great War of the Ring and included many glimpses of the yet more ancient history that preceded it. It was begun soon after The Hobbit was written and before its publication in 1937. Okay, I knew The Hobbit was around for a while, but that long? No. Here. But I did not go on with this sequel, for I wished first to complete and set in order... Why are you reading The Hobbit? The Hobbit? I'm sorry. <laughs> The Hobbit's here. I'm oh, sorry, what? Forward. Why are you reading Fellowship of the Ring? Bard. Bard! I said we'd alternate par paragraphs. I'm just sticking to it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no. so this is just gonna be going on in the background for the rest of the game for no reason. We might get to the point where Frodo leaves the Shire by that point. <laughs> I desired to do this for my own satisfaction. I have not finished I yet. Had little I'm hope just trying to make sure that that's the Squire or not. Work. Yep. Especially since it was primarily mm. linguistic and in inspiration, mm -hmm. and was begun mm. in order to provide the necessary background of the history of Elvish tongue. When those whose advice and opinion I sought collected little hope to no hope, I went back to the sequel, encouraged by requests from readers for more information concerning hobbits okay. and their adventures. But the story was now, drawn irresistibly it. towards the older mm -hmm. world, and became an account, as mm -hmm. it were, of its end and passing away before mm -hmm. its beginning and little had been told. The process had begun in the writing of the Hobbit, in which there were already some You can't move that way, you're a pikeman! Matter. I, I, I can't see the piper. Gondolin, Paper. And the high elves, and the orcs. Oh, well, I can, just not that far. That had yeah. Arisen unbidden Move one space closer if you want. Things really higher or deeper. Yeah, we or shot, yeah, 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 get shot immediately. Slightly Moria, sooner. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's that, y'all? The necromancer, the ring. The discovery of the significance of these glimpses and of their relation to the ancient history exactly one space away from you being able to hit me in, the huh? Hold on. Of the ring. in spite of the darkness of the next five and years, i end my turn i found that the story could not now be wholly abandoned mm. and i plotted on mostly by night till i stood by balanced tomb in moria where, Wait, I halted where was he for right a here long time. uh yeah i believe so there. It was almost a year later. I stopped, foresight, had failed, and there was no time for thought. No time for hate, no time for hope. Yeah. Be gone, thought. It was during 1944 that losing the loose ends and the perplexities of a war. I I'm sorry, are you eating a sandwich <laughs> while you're doing this? <laughs> He's smoking a pipe. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I have made my move, Aaron. I suggest you make yours. Hmm. Or at least to report, I forced myself to tackle the journey of Frodo mm. to Mordor. Do 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 do. I mean, do, do, do. mentioned changing his chair. 
Ah, uh, so I can explain. Fuck less dark or no less laborious. Then when the end had at least been reached, the whole story had to be revised, you see, and indeed largely rewritten backwards. And it had to be typed and retyped by me, you see, the cost of professional it. typing by the ten fingers would be on my means, you see, and I- I end my turn. Oh no, I'm in check. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> capture Aaron's last royalty piece. And that is game. Do and I'm gonna move over so, so that in the turn that won't happen, I can shoot Aaron. Oh. Alright, so that is end game. So you have World conquered World. all. Right? Yep. Yep. That was, that was fun. I conquered John's castle. Aaron ca conquered Dan's castle, and Aaron no, has won. I, just, I conquered Dan. Period. Actually. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> destroyed him. Yeah, and Aaron is now without heirs to the throne, so I take control of all four territories. Yes, except we do have a ring. knight that would be also, open to be. Also, the entire the game, throne. my king was only a few spaces away from the castle anyway. So woo. So we could have just jumped right in if the circumstance called for it. Mm. He didn't do much this game. Nope. No. That's a very interesting game. If we yes. do this again, let's not record this. <laughs> this is the third part of the Lord of the Rings, you see. The first part, the Fellowship of the Rings, told that Gandalf and the Grey discovered This is Neil deGrasse the Tyson ring reading this, by the way. Photo and the <laughs> he sounds different. Back to one ring, you see. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah,